The movie begins during the First World War at the Western Front, set in 1916. While in the trenches, a British Sergeant Major Arthur Wilkins writes a letter. In this letter, he says that he's seen countless men come to the battlefield. Although their lives depend on it, they cannot change, yet others are changed forever. He then says it feels like a lifetime has passed since he swore an oath to Grace, his wife, and that he would return to her unharmed. He further emphasizes that the letter is from his ward who died a long time ago, to which it means that whoever finds this letter after the war would know who wrote the story. Concurrently, the corporal blows his whistle to the group of soldiers waiting to march on the Germans. Wilkins watches his fellow comrades falling to their deaths by the ruthless Germans. He then gets up and gathers his soldier to keep focus and shoot. Momentarily, Private O'Leary comes over and informs him the lieutenant is calling him. He heads over to the lieutenant, who tells him their last bombardment didn't do the job and that the enemy's defenses are still intact. Upon saying that, Wilkins asks if any of their soldiers made it through, to which the lieutenant replies by saying simply, no. He then tells Wilkins he will have more success in doing so. Wilkins hesitates by saying it's a suicide to forward an assault on the machine guns. The lieutenant reminds him that these are his orders, and Wilkins abides. He further assures him any cowardice is punishable and makes sure to take the trench, leaving him no choice. Wilkins goes back to their trenches and speaks with a soldier, Jennings, saying he doesn't want any heroics out there and will only keep the men moving forward. Concurrently, one soldier tries to peek at the Germans but gets shot and dies. Wilkins, maddened with the silly soldier, orders his men to move his body away and they get ready for the march. He calls O'Leary, who has been distracted as well. Then O'Leary asks him if they even have a chance of surviving, to which Wilkins tells him it's okay to be afraid and wouldn't be a human if he isn't. Before they march, Wilkins orders the soldiers not to stop or look back. Afterwards, the lieutenant gives Wilkins the signal to move, and moments later, the corporal blows the whistle, and they march. However, most of the men start going down the field, as the enemy's machine gun is too strong. Wilkins then slides down and tries to shoot one of the men holding the machine guns. Upon successfully taking him down, Jennings then follows his leads and tries to do the same. Unfortunately, the Germans start throwing down heavy explosives on the field, causing more deaths to the British soldiers. Wilkins then goes down from the impact of the explosion, but Jennings quickly comes over to save him. Then, as the explosions continue, continue to overwhelm them, Jennings goes back to save an injured soldier, but suddenly gets hit and falls to the ground. Unfortunately, the rest of Wilkins's men die at the battlefield while he eventually passes out. Shortly after, Grace suddenly dreams of her husband, Wilkins, getting back to their home alive. She hurriedly runs down and hugs him in relief. Afterwards, they walk down the garden, where she tries to tell him about something. He then hears a baby crying in the house. As he goes over to it in shock, she admits of him not being the father. He slaps her in anger, and she suddenly wakes up from her dream. She then and holds her stomach up on waking up, showing that she is pregnant. Back to the battlefield, Wilkins finally wakes up in the darkness with no one around him. Trying to check if there are any enemies shooting, he raises his helmet slowly. After that, he starts to look for any surviving soldiers around. Eventually, he finds O'Leary lying down. When he goes over to him and wakes him up, O'Leary starts attacking him, thinking it's an enemy. But then, Wilkins calms him down moments later. The German soldier then orders his men to shoot a flare gun towards their direction. The lieutenant then reports there is no action on the field, and wonders what the Fritz were shooting at. The lieutenant answers by saying he has no clue, and it makes no difference whatsoever, as at 9 o'clock, everything beyond the ridge what Wilkins and O'Leary are would be nothing but dust. Then the lieutenant orders his men to move. Meanwhile, Wilkins and O'Leary are getting their things together to move, when they suddenly hear a sound coming from near. The sound is from Jennings, and implies that he's alive. They then quietly crawl to his location. However, when they get to Jennings, they see that his right leg is lacerated, needing urgent medical treatment. Upon seeing that, they slowly start to pull him back, but Jennings groans out loud from his pain, making the Germans aware of their presence. While continuing to pull Jennings back to their side of the trenches, O'Leary suddenly falls back into the muddy water, causing the Germans to start shooting at them. Fortunately, they get away as Wilkins finds out where the Fritz are shooting from. Shortly after, Wilkins is checking his clock while Jennings says they wouldn't be able to get him back in time and insists they leave him behind, and then O'Leary suggests maybe one of them should go to their trenches and get help. But Wilkins replies, there's no use, mockingly implying if he is getting the whole cavalry to save them. When Jennings keeps suggesting that they leave him, Wilkins assures him he will not leave him behind no matter what. Concurrently, the Germans are waiting steadily for the three to come out. On the other side, Jennings starts to reminisce about their late friend and their past battles. Then, Wilkins takes out a photograph of his wife, Grace, and begins to talk about her. Then O'Leary interrupts, 
steps and asks to see her picture. O'Leary then talks about how he wishes there was also someone waiting for him to get back home alive. Moments later, Grace goes to a Dr. Bennett so as to get an abortion, but Dr. Bennett refuses. Grace then mentions a certain person he helped, but he says that her matter was life or death, and there is more risk to it than his license to practice. Desperate, Grace tries to bribe him with money, but he just tells her the nurse Eve will assist her during her pregnancy. She complies and goes with Eve to a room where she asks her about her husband and that her fiancé was sent to Europe nearly three years ago. Eve suggests that she moves away, have the child, and adapt it out, but Grace disagrees and starts to panic saying she would have nothing to come back to, stating that if her parents learn of her pregnancy, they will disown her. Eve then calms her down and tells her not to make any rash decisions until she properly thinks it through. Grace is convinced, and as she gets up to leave, Eve tells her she knows someone to accompany her. Wilkins and O'Leary continue to drag Jennings when the Germans shoot a flare gun once again, so they lay down, not to be seen moving. Then, as they hit Jennings, Wilkins gets the rifle from O'Leary and asks him to get the other sling which is far away from where they are. O'Leary abides and goes over to get it. Then Jennings asks Wilkins when will the big boys light up, letting him know he can't be fooled like how he did with O'Leary by ordering him to get the sling. Wilkins then tells him he found O'Leary face down in the mud, hiding like a coward, and assumes that O'Leary would sooner make a run for it than to stay and help them. Jennings disagrees and tells him to go easy on him, that he is just a boy, and reminds him they weren't brave their first time either. Surprisingly, O'Leary gets back safe and hands him the sling to tie up Jennings' lacerated leg, but Jennings fails to control his groan again, causing the Germans to shoot the flare again. Then suddenly the Germans start bombing their area, but luckily, all of them safely avoid the explosion. As they start moving out, the Germans see them and immediately start shooting towards them. Unfortunately, O'Leary O'Leary gets separated from the group when he is hit, then Wilkins quickly puts down Jennings to a safe spot and goes back to get O'Leary. Eventually, he gets him up and they get to Jennings safely. Meanwhile, Grace is at Eve's house. Eve proceeds to tell her about her sister who can relate to Grace. She also had a child from another person and brought shame to her family, but she is happily living somewhere else. Eve tries to convince Grace to reconsider aborting the child because it might be fatal for her. Then Grace mentions the shame Eve's sister brought to her family and doesn't want to go through the same thing. She then tells her she already made a decision to abort it. Back to the Western Front, O'Leary realizes Wilkins is constantly looking at his watch and confronts him about it. Jennings then convinces Wilkins to tell the truth, leaving him with no choice. He reveals to him that in 21 hours, the big boys will be smashing the lines again. Stunned, O'Leary says that they can still make it in 20 minutes and states that there is a medic kit caught in the barbed wire not that far away. So Wilkins agrees and goes with O'Leary to get it so that they can properly patch Jennings' wound up. Moments later, Later, Wilkins begins to crawl out to get the medic kit while O'Leary guards him from the Germans. Despite the intense struggle to snap the barbed wires, he then successfully takes the kit and moves away as the Germans begin shooting again after noticing him. O'Leary then asks if their comrades know that they're still alive and would stop the bombing. Wilkins then insists that it's better to assume they don't and that they will start making a run for it when the bombardment starts. He also tells him they have a better chance of making it by sticking together. O'Leary is still not convinced though. All of a sudden, he gets up and promises to get the cavalry back to them, then starts running to his side. Jennings tells Wilkins that they will not recognize him and will likely shoot him down. O'Leary is shouting out, I'm Irish, while running down to his trenches, while the Germans are shooting at him from behind. Then, one of the soldiers from his side recognizes him and tells the lieutenant, but he gives orders to snipe him, as he would trigger their trap and ruin the whole plan. The soldier keeps missing his shot, and O'Leary finally gets to the trenches. Unaware, he trips on the wired trap and dies from the explosion. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, only Wilkins and Jennings remain. Momentarily, Wilkins starts to patch Jennings up using the medic's kit. During that time, Grace is going to get her baby aborted. Back to the battlefield, Wilkins and Jennings finally get out of the ridge. Then Wilkins sees gas smoke coming their way. Then he uses his urine to cover their nose and prevent them from getting killed by the gas. But the Germans, wearing gas masks, are coming towards them. As Wilkins realizes the Germans are sweeping out the field, they immediately crawl out. The lieutenant finds out about Germany's actions as well. Unfortunately, while Wilkins and Jennings are playing dead to escape the Germans, one of the soldiers walks towards Jennings and hits him in his lacerated leg, causing him to scream. As the Germans begin gunning down the area, Wilkins fights the German soldier, and just before the German kills Wilkins, Jennings shoots him down. Wilkins then immediately carries Jennings and tries to get out of the battlefield full of explosions. Wilkins successfully saves his friend. Concurrently, Grace fails to abort the baby as Eve refuses to help her. However, Jennings, although making it out alive, chooses to give up and die on the west 
Western Front. Devastated Wilkins closes his friend's eyes as his cavalry saves him from the German almost killing him. Shortly after, Wilkins goes back to Eve to give her Jennings' letter, and upon discovering Eve accidentally kills Grace, he chokes her for a moment but decides to leave her. The movie ends as he visits his wife's grave with flowers, telling her he will always love her and says his goodbye. And with that, the movie ends. We hope you enjoyed our video. Watch the next recaps on the screen and don't forget to subscribe for more amazing recaps. See you in the next one.